Hey, what's up? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have a full indoor FPV quad kit from GEP RC. It's a brushless indoor quad. I think you can also fly it outdoors, and it's got a built-in 4K camera so you can get great footage on it while you're flying around FPV. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. So if you're new to this channel, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more great content about FPV quads as well as camera drones and other fun RC stuff. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm gonna let you know, and if you watch my videos, you already know, I'm a big fan of GEP RC. Uh, they had the Rocket, the Rocket Light, the Crocodile Baby, uh, the Mark IV, all of those quads that I've been flying have been just amazing and they've all been digital systems. This is an analog quad. This right here is the Tiny Go, and it is a little FPV quad. It uh, feels pretty hefty, and I think it's about 80 grams with the batteries. So I'm holding it without batteries right now, but 80 grams is what they say it is with batteries in it. Comes fully assembled with everything you need to get going, and it includes the remote control, which is right here. This remote control takes four AA batteries and has a bunch of switches on it, which I'll go over in a minute. And it uh, includes these box goggles that have an internal battery built into them. They're, again, they're analog goggles, but it's got an internal battery and it's got a DVR built into it. So you can put a, a micro SD card in here and record. And that's all great. It also comes with this really nice box. This is a uh, case, zipper case. It's got divided little panels in here, you know, and these are Velcro, so you can move them around. So everything fits in here really nicely. And then they also send you the antennas. They send you four batteries. Now, the reason you get four is because this quad actually requires two 1S batteries to fly. So you're gonna put two batteries in it at a time. So it's like getting two batteries, but you have four. Uh, it comes with spare props. These are gem fan props, so they're pretty decent props. Um, excited to try them out. They're four blade props. Comes with a four-way uh, charger for the batteries, so you can actually put these guys in and charge it up. And then little screwdriver, stickers, and a couple of spare parts in here, spare battery straps, um, etc. And it has a little battery cage built into it. And so I have a lot of these batteries already, so I'm excited that I can fly with the four that they provided, but even more, um, I'll have even more to fly with. All right, it's definitely a tight fit to get uh, the two batteries into this uh, battery slot. There we go. Now, obviously you want a tight fit so that you can get your uh, batteries in there and get them kind of centered so that you have good center of gravity on the thing. That looks about right. Now it's beeping because it doesn't have a signal. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the radio and it should be pre-bound. And yeah, I'm assuming that uh, it stopped beeping because it's already bound. Now, these switches here allow you to go between uh, acro, horizon, and angle mode. Uh, they allow you to turn on the buzzer if you lose it. So in case you lose it, you can flip that and it'll start beeping. And it also has uh, what they call crash flip, and that is turtle mode. So if you were to flip upside down, let's say you were like that, you could go. There you go. And that flips it back over so that it's right side up. I'll do that one more time in case, in case you missed it. Yeah, works great. Turtle mode. Now you're going to want to make sure to take it out of turtle mode uh, so that you're not flying the wrong way. There's an auxiliary button here. And then of course the arm switch. I'm already armed. I'm in horizon mode. Let's just uh, take it up and kind of line aside it a little bit. Okay, there it is. Let me uh, tilt this camera up a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, there it is in uh, angle mode. See if I can put it in horizon mode. Boy, it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of power for a little guy like this. Oop, kind of got away from me. So it's supposed to give you about six minutes of flight time uh, with a two fully charged batteries. 
It uses an F4 flight controller and it has brushless 10,000 kV 1102 motors. So they spin pretty fast and they are uh, brushless, so they should be pretty durable. And again, the props are gem, gem fan props, so they uh, good quality props. And they, you do get a spare set here in this bag along with it. So, yeah, really pretty good picture for um, kit uh, goggles. Let's see if I can show it to you here. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I'm seeing. It looks a little red, but um, let's see. It says I'm on channel E5. I'm in angle mode. Let's see um, if I can go. I think usually it is up and left. Yep, that takes you into a menu. And so now I can go down. So that's just something to know. If you take the uh, right stick, let me show you. If you take the right stick up and the left stick left, you'll go into a menu system in the goggles that allows you to change things. So let me, I just got out of it. Let me see if I can get back into it here real quick. See if you can see it. Left and up, there we go. Now you can see it says things like profile, features, OSD, firmware, miscellaneous, save and exit. So one really unique thing about this guy is it has a 4K Caddx camera built into it. It's, uh, I believe, just one camera that acts as the FPV camera, but then also records in 4K. Now it has a DVR and the DVR is kind of tricky to find but the um, SD card, the micro SD card for it, goes right up here under the canopy. And I'm gonna show you where it is here. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but the micro SD card goes right in here. And you might hear it click. Let me take it back out. It's spring loaded, so you can put it in and out right here. Yeah, I just pushed it out push it in. You can use the included screwdriver and that works fine for putting the SD card in. I've got a 16 gig card in there right now. Now the, uh, the Caddx FPV camera also comes with this little joystick controller button thing that allows you to plug it in and actually access menu items on the DVR. Okay, so I plugged this little guy in here. There is one port on the back, one little uh, connector, um, and it plugs in here. And then when you do that, you can actually go into the goggles. And in the goggles, uh, let's see if you can see it. You can actually go through the menu. I don't know if you can see, but basically it says um, resolution. So you can change your resolution from 4K to uh, 4K 30, 2K, 2.7K 60, uh, 1080, or 4K 60. So I just put it on 4K 60. Okay, I think I got everything sorted. New batteries in, and uh, I'm gonna hit record on the DVR here and see uh, the camera is a lot uh, flatter, it's not facing as far up, so it should be a little bit easier to fly slow. Okay, time to use uh, flip over mode. So I'm upside down, turtle mode. Let's see if it'll do it.
Oh, got it. Hey, that's really cool. I have not used turtle mode very much. Switch that back to normal. And uh, switch out of flash, crash flip, normal. Yeah, it should be good to go now. Figure out which way, oh, that's where I am. Getting a low battery warning, so I'm gonna bring it back. Put myself in the head. <laughs> I hope I got that on camera. Didn't hurt, just kind of startled me. Okay, I can say with all sincerity, this little thing is a hoot. It's fun to fly. Uh, it's pretty powerful for a tiny whoop because it uses two batteries. Uh, the built-in DVR with the Caddx camera is actually quite amazing. I'm really excited about being able to do some FPV, some kind of cine whooping with it. Now, of course, it is too small to be a real cine whoop, but if you're recording 4K 60, um, the footage looks pretty decent and you can get this into some tall, small spots. So if you were flying outdoors on a day that was pretty calm, you might be able to get some really cool shots with this in places you couldn't go with a bigger quad. Uh, Gep RC, once again, great job. They, they seem to have knocked it out of the park. If you're interested in a long range uh, Gep RC, check out my review of the Crocodile Baby. If you're interested in just a kind of explorer, park explorer kind of thing, check out my review of the Rocket and the Rocket Light. 
all great little quads from Gep RC. They continue to do a great job. This little all-in-one kit is pretty impressive. I'll put a link below in the description if you want to check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button. We'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.